Branding for any business is a good quality to have, but a recognizable brand is not always equal success. Many household brand names no longer exist, falling prey to bankruptcy or acquisition. Many iconic companies have gone bankrupt or been acquired by more successful companies. Let's take a look at some popular companies that went bankrupt. Tower Records in 1960, Russell Solomon opened the first Tower Record store on Watt Avenue in Sacramento, California, which shared a building and name with the Tower Theater, where Solomon first started selling records. By 1976, Solomon had opened Tower Books, Posters, and Plants at 1600 Broadway, next door to Tower Records. In 1995, Tower.com opened, making Enterprise one of the first retailers to movie online. In addition to CDs and cassette tapes, the stores sold DVDs, electric gadgets like MP3 players, video games, accessories and toys, and a few Tower Records locations sold books as well, such as those in Bree, Mountain View, and Sacramento, California as well as stores in Nashville, New York, Portland, Oregon, Austin, and Seattle. In 1983, the company began publishing a music magazine, Pulse, which contained record reviews, interviews, and advertising. Initially, it was given away free in their stores to promote their record sales. After nine years in 1992, the magazine began national distribution with a cover price of $2.95. But it was cancelled when the company discontinued U.S. operations. From 1983 until December 2002, Tower Records published its monthly 222 issues in all. Tower Records entered bankruptcy for the first time in 2004. Factors cited were the heavy debt incurred during its aggressive expansion in the 1990s, growing competition from mass discounters, and internet piracy mismanagement, managerial incompetence, and crippling restrictions from the first bankruptcy deal also contributed to Tower's demise. Some observers took a pragmatic review. As Robert Moog, inventor of the Moog synthesizer, has stated, I'm sorry if Tower Records and Blockbuster's sales plummet. On the other hand, it wasn't that long ago that those mega store chains drove a lot of neighborhood record stores out of business. In February 2004, the debt was estimated to be between $80 million and $100 million, and assets totaled just over $100 million. On August 20, 2006, Tower Records filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy for the second time in order to facilitate a purchase of the company prior to the holiday shopping season. Kodak Kodak was founded by George Eastman and Henry A. Strong on September 4, 1888. During most of the 20th century, Kodak held a dominant position in photographic film. The company's ubiquity was such that its Kodak moment tagline entered the common lexicon to describe a personal event that was demanded to be recorded for posterity. Kodak began to struggle financially in the late 1990s. As a result of the decline in sales of photographic film and its slowness in transitioning to digital photography, as a part of turnaround strategy, Kodak began to focus on digital photography and digital printing and attempted to generate revenues through aggressive patent litigation. In January 2012, Kodak filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York. In February 2012, Kodak announced that it would stop making digital cameras, pocket video cameras and digital picture frames, and focus on the corporate digital imaging market. In August 2012, Kodak announced its intention to sell its photographic film, commercial scanners and kiosk corporations as a measure to emerge from bankruptcy, but not its motion picture film operations. In January 2013, the court approved financing for Kodak to emerge from bankruptcy by mid-2013. Kodak sold many of its patents for approximately $525 million to a group of companies, including Apple, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Samsung, 
Rob Systems and HTC under the names Intellectual Ventures and RPX Corporation. On September 3, 2013, the company emerged from bankruptcy having shed its large legacy liabilities and exited several businesses. Personalized imaging and document imaging are now part of Kodak Alaris, a separate company owned by UK-based Kodak Pension Plan. Enron Enron Corporation was an American energy, commodities, and services company based in Houston, Texas. It was founded in 1985 as a merger between Houston Natural Gas and Internoth, both relatively small regional companies. Before its bankruptcy on December 2, 2001, Enron employed approximately 20,000 staff and was one of the world's major electricity, natural gas, communications, and pulp and paper companies. With claimed revenue of nearly $101 billion during 2000, Fortune named Enron America's most innovative company for six consecutive years. At the end of 2001, it was revealed that its reported financial condition was sustained by institutionalized, systematic, and creatively planned accounting fraud known since as the Enron scandal. Enron has since become a well-known example of willful corporate fraud and corruption. The scandal also brought into question and the accounting practices and activities of many corporations in the United States and was a factor in the enactment of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. The scandal also affected the greater business world by causing the dissolution of Arthur Anderson accounting firm. Enron filed for bankruptcy in the Southern District of New York in late 2001 and selected Will, Gorchell, and Manges as its bankruptcy counsel. It ended its bankruptcy during November 2004. Pursuant to a court-approved plan of free organization, a new board of directors changed the name of Enron to Enron Creditors Recovery Corporation and emphasized reorganizing and liquidating certain operations and assets of the pre-bankruptcy Enron. On September 7, 2006, Enron sold Prisma Energy International Incorporation, its last remaining business, to Ashmore Energy International Limited. Blockbuster Blockbuster LLC, formerly Blockbuster Entertainment Incorporation, and also known as Blockbuster Video, or simply Blockbuster was an American-based provider of home movie and video game rental services through video rental shops, DVD by mail, streaming, video on demand, and cinema theater. Blockbuster became internationally known throughout the 1990s. At its peak in 2004, Blockbuster employed 84,300 people worldwide, including about 58,500 in the United States and about 25,800 in the other countries and had 9,094 stores. Competition from Netflix mail order service, Redbox automated kiosks, and video on demand services were a major factor in Blockbuster's eventual demise. Blockbuster began to lose significant revenue during the 2000s, and in 2010, the company filed for bankruptcy protection. The following year, its remaining 1,700 stores were bought by a satellite television provider, Dish Network. While the Blockbuster brand has mostly been retired, Dish still manages a relatively small number of Blockbuster franchise agreements, which allows some stores to remain open in few markets. Pan American World Airways Pan American World Airways, originally founded as Pan American Airways and commonly known as Pan Am, was the principal and largest international air carrier in the United States from 1927 until its collapse on December 4, 1991. Founded in 1927 as a scheduled air mail and passenger service operating between Key West, Florida and Havana, Cuba, the airline is credited for many innovations that shaped the international airline industry, including the widespread use of jet aircraft, jumbo jets, and computerized reservation systems. It was also a founding member of the International Air Transport Association, the Global Airline Industry Association. Identified by its Blue Globe logo, the use of the world clipper in its aircraft names and call signs 
the white uniform caps of its pilots, the airline was a cultural icon of the 20th century. In an era dominated by flag carriers that were wholly or majority government owned, it was also the unofficial overseas flag carrier of the United States. During most of the jet era, Pan Am's flagship terminal was the Volt Boat located at John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City. 